Women who are diagnosed with breast cancer in Canada have an excellent chance of surviving their disease. But the opposite is true in countries like Bangladesh and Tanzania, where the health systems are not yet ready to support widespread cancer screening programs, let alone treatment. So our challenge is to find more effective, innovative, and cheaper ways to prevent deaths from breast cancer. The use of mobile phones for health interventions, what's sometimes referred to as mHealth, is tremendously useful in areas that we normally think are difficult, like cancer treatment, like cancer screening. In our case, we used an mHealth platform, including a video testimonial on basic smartphones to encourage women to come for care if they had a breast problem in the rural area surrounding our clinic in Bangladesh. The results were, in fact, surprising, even to us, and we had high hopes. In four months, our 30 community health workers were able to interview over 22,000 women in the rural areas surrounding our clinic, and they found 556 women with a breast problem, but these women had never come for care. If women were interviewed by a community health worker who had one of our smartphones with the special apps, they were much more likely to come to the clinic. We consider this project to be successful on that basis, and it speaks well to the possibilities in the future to show that we can save lives by using an M-Health approach to cancer care for women in rural areas. The challenge that we were trying to tackle in Tanzania is the problem of cervical cancer. Cervical cancer kills very few women in developed countries. But in countries that are less developed, like in Sub-Saharan Africa or South Asia, cervical cancer is one of the top killers. For example, in North America, most women from about the age of 20 start having pap smears. In, in uh, countries like Tanzania, pap smears are virtually unavailable because they not only require special technique, but there's cost involved and there's limited expertise with respect to people who can actually read the pap smears. In countries like Tanzania in, in, and in other uh, sub-Saharan African countries, the main way that women can have cervical cancer screening performed today is through a process called visual inspection. And what happens with this process is a health provider, such as a nurse, is trained to um, examine a woman's cervix using her naked eye. What our project involved was a uh, pilot program to test the uh, usefulness of smartphone cameras in the hands of nurses and with expert mentorship performed by experts that were at a distance. What we did was we had nurses trained to perform visual inspection and then to take photos using the smartphone camera. After they'd made their clinical diagnosis and treatment plan, those images were then sent for expert review to another expert within the region who was a couple of hundred kilometers away. These images were sent by simple text messages. Within five to seven minutes, of the nurse performing her screening exam and sending the image, she had already received back feedback from the experts, which provided her with mentorship and provided uh, improvement in the quality of the care that she was providing. Over time, we realized that with this ongoing mentorship technique done by instant text messaging, that the nurses were able to become more and more proficient with their skills. They gained confidence such, such that they were in agreement with the experts more than 90% of the time. One of the other very surprising and promising aspects of our uh, pilot project was that n not only was this mobile health platform or technique excellent for improving the nurses' uh, screening skills uh, beyond just visual inspection, but it, was al it also became an excellent tool for ongoing mentorship and guidance. And we see this uh, moving into the future as being an excellent model for training of nur uh, future nurses and expansion of cervical cancer screening programs across uh, Tanzania and perhaps throughout that region. We are so pleased to have the support of Grand Challenges Canada to have completed this project and we're so pleased that our results were even better than we expected. So once uh, Ophir and I realized we were both w working on women's cancers and we both had uh, these Grand Challenges Canada funded projects using uh, mobile health platforms and we realized that we were both very passionate and angry about the fact that women were dying of, uh, of breast cancer and cervical cancer when they didn't need to, we decided to join forces and try to move forward 
and combining our efforts and both of our uh, innovative um, approaches to try to improve access to care for uh, women for both cervical and uh, breast cancer in Tanzania. So our plans for the scaled up study is to tackle both breast and cervical cancer in rural Tanzania. The main outcome we're going to look for is to save lives from cervical cancer by reducing the incidence and the mortality from this disease. While educating women about breast health and showing that we can encourage women to come for care using these novel smartphone applications.